husband took that chocolate pie to work and he only got a small bite of it, so I'm gonna make his favorite brownies. But I found this recipe on Pinterest that I'm dying to try, so we're going to do this. What you'll need is one box of brownie mix. This one is Betty Crocker Supreme Triple Chunk. Um, it's a 17.8 ounce box. And this recipe did call for a half a cup of chocolate chips, but because I've got the Supreme Triple Chunk, I'm not going to add that, and I don't have any chocolate chips. Now, I've already put that brownie mix in my bowl. Now, add 1 4 teaspoon of salt, and sea salt is best, but I don't have any, but we're just gonna do salt. We're going to add 1 3rd cup of hot coffee. This is leftover from my morning coffee, but you can do instant coffee if you'd like, and evidently, the coffee is supposed to give it a much richer chocolate flavor. So, we're gonna try this. Preheat your oven to 325 degrees. One teaspoon of vanilla extract. We're going to add two egg yolks. Go ahead and make sure you get the caleza out. Melt one stick of butter. Now I'm gonna add this butter. I really hope these turn out good. Mix that really well. I'm looking on the box here and it calls for one fourth cup of water. So what we actually did was substituted that water with coffee. And it does call for one egg, but I put two egg yolks. And then instead of one third cup of vegetable oil, we used a half a cup of melted butter. Put that in your eight by eight baking dish. Evidently, these are supposed to taste like bakery style brownies, but we're gonna put this recipe to the test. I've got that oven preheated on 325 degrees and we're gonna bake this for 40 minutes. And I'll let you know how this turned out. Just those few changes made these brownies even better. If you like a chewy brownie, this probably wouldn't be for you, but it is so moist and so good. So this is definitely a keeper.